Allahu Akbar. Welcome to our audience that is viewing from home during this lockdown. Um, my name is Kashmir Maryam and this is my sister Aisha. Aisha, would you like to introduce yourself and what we do as the Strangers Organization? Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Um, my name is Aisha and I am part of an organization called The Strangers and our goal is to revive the message of Islam and we do this through uh, different different means. One of the means is through spoken word poetry, through the collective voice of Muslim poets around the world um, and just being able to clear up misconceptions. So that's our main goal. Um, yes, Kashmir. Yeah, excellent. Jazakallah khair. Uh, so the work that we do as the strangers is we host a lot of uh, poetry slams a lot of the time they're um you know in person and so we have our poets go up on stage they compete for trophies um and prizes and we just have a good time it's basically to platform the muslim voice so that we can portray the true message of islam through the art of spoken word poetry um so it's a creative yes. art it's something that is uh, powerful and empowering um, and that's what we wanted to do for you today. So we have a great show lined up for you all. Um, we hope that you enjoy watching. Um, and I just wanted to clarify a few things that are a little bit different about uh, slam poetry uh, versus written poetry or any other type of poetry, Shakespeare, whatever you, whatever type of poetry you are into. Um, so the difference between slam poetry is that it is um, about the content of the poem. So how deep is the lyrical content? how um how relevant is it to the audience how how powerful is the 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 methods that are used to articulate what is being said in the poem and second of all um the the powerful thing about slam poetry and probably one of the more important traits of slam poetry is that it is heavily about the way in which the message is revealed to the audience so it's not just about reading from a sheet of paper it's about how that message is delivered um, so that's something that we put a lot of emphasis on as the strangers and we do uh, with all of our poets as well. So inshallah today you'll be hearing some slam poetry and um, I hope that you enjoy the show and all of the poets that we have lined up. Uh, there are three simple rules that we have for the poets. That is number one, the content has to be um, appropriate. So no curse words, um, uh, there, there is no inappropriate content um, and our poets do understand that. The second rule is that uh, we have to make sure that the poem is under five minutes. Um, and number three is just to be respectful of everyone that is up there performing. Everyone is sharing something that is meaningful to them. And that's something very personal. And we have to respect that because that's very sanctified. Um, so, yeah. So, without any further ado, I would like to introduce our judge for this evening. Her name is Tahani Salah. Is Tahani there? I'm here. Assalamu As alaikum, Tahani. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah, we're doing good. Perfect. So I have, Tahani, your bio here. I'm just going to read it. And um, hopefully that will explain to everyone your background in poetry. I personally, I know Tahani from before. Um, she's a slam poet. So she knows a thing or two, or more than a thing or two, about performance. And that's one of the reasons we chose to have her on our platform today. Um, and that's something that means a lot to us because I think to be a writer is one thing, but to be a performer is something, um, is something else. So, uh, Jazakallah her for joining us today. Thank so, you. Tahani Salah is an educator, poet, and activist based in Brooklyn, New York, with a bloodline to Palestine. She's a graduate of Columbia University, a former professor of curriculum development at the Cooney Graduate Center. She's also a member of the New York Slam team. She competed internationally and holds many slam titles from Europe to Africa. Tahani has also been featured on HBO's Death Poetry Jam. She is a passionate about peace and activism and carries that into the classroom as an educator, showing how life creates art and using it all as a tool of expression. As an artist dedicated to bringing light and solutions to communities where people's voices have been silenced, Tahani has performed at a number of world famous stages, including the Apollo Theatre in New York City, to universities in the US, South Africa, Germany, Canada, Palestine, Jordan, and many more. <laughs> Mashallah. Okay, so Tahani, you told me to pick one or two lines from your bio, but I felt like everyone needed to hear that. Um, so welcome. Um, so I guess we are going on to our next performer. Is he online, Aisha? 
uh, Brother Ala. Yes, he is. Brother Ala, please introduce yourself. Um, I like the cap, by the way, <laughs> and go for it, inshallah. <laughs> Salaam alaikum, guys. You can hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Uh, so yeah, my name is Ala, as she said. Um, I'm from New York, uh, Brooklyn, New York, actually, and my parents are from Palestine. I don't really got much to say. Uh, I've known Aisha for a while now, but like five years, I bet. Uh, and I've been a part of Strangers Poetry for a while too as well. And um, yeah. Can we start, inshallah? Bismillah. Yes, please do. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlil uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. While we, uh, this, this piece is called uh, One Nation, by the way. Bismillah. While we claim to fight, while we claim to stand up for peace, the whole world actually took a piece. Conquered and divided from the east to the west. Could it be? Are the numbers lopsided? No, that isn't the case. We actually outnumber them. If we wanted to, we wouldn't even leave a single trace. But that was not his way. And I don't mean the way of Sunni, Salafi, Shi'i, or Sufi. I mean the way of Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon he. Can't you see that these labels are tearing us apart as each oppressor takes their part? When will we learn? When will we learn to embrace one another under one banner, planted by one messenger, sent by one master? When? Jazakallah khair. Hey brother, I always remember, um, I remember like a while ago, uh, there was a competition in Mist and um, right at the very end, you got that poet cap and you threw it on the floor and I think everyone was just like shocked and um, alhamdulillah, your poem is very short, they to the point and um, they definitely get the message across. Jazakallah hey for that. Sister Kashmir, Sister Tahani. Yeah. Just making sure we're not related. Are you from Beit Hanina? No, no, I get that a lot though. I'm from um, uh, Albira. Albira. Well, we have family from there too. Don't worry. Okay, good. Safna. Nice to meet you. Great job. Allah. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, and I agree. I, mean, I thought it was short, powerful, and punchy. That's how I would define it. And powerful. <laughs> and Thank we just want you. to clarify also the reason. Uh, well, not the only reason that we are complimenting your hat is because that is actually uh, the stranger's merchandise. So mm -hmm. we as the strangers have yeah. a poet hat. <laughs> so for any of our viewers who are interested um, in that, you know, reach out to us and we'll let you know. Um, and we, we sell them on our website, inshallah, and we have them available. So, yeah. So thank you for being a walking, talking, um, marketing <laughs> Representative. <laughs> Thank you guys for always having the platform. What year? What I want to thank everyone here. I want to thank primarily for hosting us on their platform every single year when we host this. It's just an amazing success, and I can say, Alhamdulillah, from the bottom of my heart, I think this was phenomenally successful. I want to say a special to uh, Tahani for doing this, for doing the very, very difficult job of judging. It can never be. Thank you so much. And may Allah reward you and um, and uh, you know for taking the time out. You're also a mother, so you know it, I know it's difficult juggling uh, duties. So may Allah reward you for that. And um, yeah, do you have any closing remarks, Aisha? Um, I just wanted to say that um, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. May Allah bless all of the viewers for attending. Um, I pray that we all benefited in an event without our poets. Um, now, saying that as well, um, I'm not sure if you can see me. Okay, you can see me now. Um, no further ado. Uh, you can find The Strangers on Instagram. Our website is in the works, inshallah. So please do uh, definitely follow up with more information about the Uyghur campaign, uh, which is a current campaign that we're doing. We hope you enjoyed the letter, the final compilation. Um, a lot of heart went into it from our poets. And thank you again to everyone. And of course, Assistant Tahani, you did an amazing job. Jazakul Khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And Ikna. Of course, Ikna. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, I just want to say the greatest thank you to all of our poets for contributing their pieces. Each one was mind blowing and touched my heart. And I'm sincerely saying that as someone who's been to a lot of poetry slams and a lot of poetry over the years, as Tahani and as Aisha can both attest to, we heard 
an amazing level of talent tonight. Um, so may Allah reward you all. And yeah, I'm going to close it right there. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.